Hello members of the Heart Squad, welcome to a new week. It is a fantastic week, but I also realize it's not a fantastic week for everybody. Monday and Tuesday can be like some of the worst days of the week, so I scoured the internet and found five things that I think you will find interesting. First up is the new Rick and Morty trader. It is absolutely fantastic. It pays homages to not only different styles of art, but some of the stories that we've read as a kid. Can you see which art styles you recognize? Can you name all the artists? Can you name some of the storybooks that they also used? My favorite is actually at the tail end when they use the art style from Where the Wild Things Are. So let me know in the comments which ones are your favorite. Number two on this list is actually weird and fantastic. It's a beautiful song that you may count as corny, but I love it. It's from the show The Amazing World of Gumball. It's called Nobody's a Nobody, and it's a song about friendship and loving one another and just being cool in general. The song was made quite some time ago, but I still love it. I just recently caught up to this episode and I listened to the song about 50 or 60 times. Tell me what you think about the song. I absolutely enjoy it. And I hope it makes you smile like it made me smile. It just made me feel good inside. Number three is for all of you fighting game fans still playing Street Fighter V. It's actually perfect timing because Evo just wrapped up. Abigail has been released. If you don't know who Abigail is, Abigail is one of the lieutenants of the Mad Gear Gang. He's from Final Fight and he's joining the Street Fighter V roster for season two. When I first saw this trailer, I was like, who is this? I had to actually go research who he was. He was, he's an interesting character, he doesn't really appeal to me as much as the rest of season 2 does, but I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people who are Final Fight fans who will truly enjoy him, and I think I'll play him too because it looks like he's going to be a large striker versus a large grappler, which is interesting. Something else that I figured out while I was researching Abigail is he's actually the tallest character in Street Fighter history, he's also the first Canadian in Street Fighter history, and he's also stronger than Hugo. So that's a lot, so maybe Abigail's gonna be amazing, I hope he is. His fight trailer makes his um, fighting style look really interesting, and I hope you guys enjoy him. For those of you who are a fan of Doctor Who, the 13th Doctor has been revealed and it's absolutely fantastic because thank God it's a woman. I don't know why I really wanted it to be a woman. I was just very interested in it being a woman, maybe because of the long lineage of men. Uh, I, uh, while I was looking this up, there were a bunch of people going, not my doctor. For those of you who are saying that, hey, you're entitled to your opinion, but I think this is an interesting opportunity for the BBC and I hope she does well. I've loved all of the doctors in the past, so I'm pretty sure she's gonna do just fine. And I look forward to seeing what adventure she goes on. <laughs> BBC is finally being a bit progressive. Maybe we can get a black 007 one day, one day. But anyway, tell me what you think of the doctor in the comments below. And number five, one last thing, thanks to the guys at Corridor Digital and Mike Diva, they made a fantastic fidget spinner short film called Fidget Spinner Anime or something around the type. I'll link it in the description below. It is absolutely fantastic. It plays on all the anime tropes that us anime fans grew up with and seeing it in, th in actual live action form is absolutely fantastic. And it makes you wonder why we can't get a good live action anime for the life of us. Anyway, watch it, see what you think, and tell me what you think of it in the comments below. I think it's hilarious. It plays on all the best tropes. I have linked everything in the description. Please like and share this video and go watch the original videos. I think they're amazing. I think you should support them, especially if you like them. And if you like them, share those videos as well. You guys have a great week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.